Good evening, everyone. Autopsy results expected tomorrow when three people found dead in an east side home. The victims are 64-year-old Mark Higgins, his 34-year-old son, Keith Higgins, and 34-year-old Jessica Carte. 24-Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas is live now at the home on Forsythia. That's near 16th and North Franklin Road. So, Tim, what's happening in the neighborhood today? Well, an IMPD commander tells me please do not believe the murders are random. A team of IMPD officers showed back up in the neighborhood today. They walked this block. They talked to the neighbors. IMPD says the goal is to reassure people in the neighborhood that police are here. They are ready to protect them. Officers still searching for whoever is responsible. They have not released a suspect description. The yellow tape is clear. The flashing lights gone. And the only people who answer the door at the Higgins home, a cleaning crew. That it's unbelievable. You? It's just unbelievable. But the tragedy is still stuck in Susan Horton's head. She lives across the street from Mark Higgins' home. He was a nice, friendly person, always willing to help, just an ordinary, common worker like the rest of us. Police say Mark did not show up to work Thursday morning, so a relative went to check on him and call the police. Detectives found Mark, his 34-year-old son Keith, and 34-year-old Jessica Carte dead. Family friends say Carte was Keith's girlfriend. Just in a state of shock, we just could not believe it, because things like that has never gone on here. Horton remembers Mark as a man who drove her husband to the store after the Horton's car broke down. Detectives say they found no signs of forced entry, and police won't say how the victims died. Oh, yeah. You know, we've never had anything like that in the neighborhood. Bill Mays lives just down the street on Forsythia. He says he didn't hear anything out of the ordinary before police showed up Thursday. Really nice people. They take care of their place nice. They're just, just like anybody else in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. just, just can't imagine what happened. Now, IMPD says at least in the last year, they'd never been called to this home before yesterday. Police spent a few hours yesterday looking for a 2002 red Monte Carlo that they say was taken from the home. Officers ended up finding that car just before 5 p.m. with no one inside. Live in the 24-Hour News 8.